Welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking Under the Collar. I'm your host, Under the Collar. Today we're back to dinner. It's back to wonderful Florida ready, grill happy, summertime maybe dinners. And I have been on a quest to find the perfect recipe for a staple of the American grill. And so today I want to share with you my recipe for barbecue chicken. Let's look at the ingredients. I know this looks like a lot of ingredients for something as simple as barbecue chicken, but what I found is that when you just barbecue the chicken breasts or the chicken parts with the sauce, it kind of dries out the meat. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna marinate this uh, for at least four hours up to a day. And so all these other ingredients are just part of the marinade. The recipe you see in the description box below is actually three times uh, what we're gonna make here today. And, uh, and that's what you know, you're gonna be able to do six chicken breasts with. I'm gonna just do two chicken breasts and the marinade's gonna be olive oil, balsamic vinegar, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, lemon juice, brown sugar, dried rosemary, Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, garlic powder. And then on the grill itself, I'll grab our traditional barbecue sauce to kind of put it together. So let's make the marinade real quick. I know that I said that I was uh, doing a third of the recipe. I'm just gonna have the recipe, uh, but I'm only using a third of the amount of chicken. So it's just easier to do it that way. Um, so I've got a quarter cup here of extra virgin olive oil to which I'm going to add a quarter cup of the balsamic vinegar. And now I'm gonna do an eighth a cup of soy sauce and an eighth of a cup of uh, Worcestershire sauce. The nice thing about a marinade is that it uh, is forgiving in terms of your amount. So if you're a little more, a little less, that's okay. We're gonna throw in our lemon juice. Uh, I've got here a third a cup of, um, of brown sugar. Your recipe calls for three quarters of a cup. Got a teaspoon of dried rosemary. What I like to do with my rosemary after I measure it is to simply kind of put it in my hands and you're just gonna crush it and that's gonna um, reduce the size of them, and it's also gonna kind of release the aromatics of the rosemary. It's, a, it's kind of a good tip, especially when you're using dried uh, spices. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of uh, mustard. A Dijon is good, you could also use a uh, spicy brown. A teaspoon of salt. A half a teaspoon of black pepper. and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Go ahead and give that a good whisk. You want to make sure to try to dissolve the brown sugar. And then uh, what I like to do is I like to just put the chicken in a Ziploc bag. You can also, you know, put the chicken in here, cover it with saran wrap or something, but I'm just going to take the Ziploc bag and, uh, and pour uh, this directly in. Now, you could reserve some of that uh, marinade and you could use that to baste the chicken later. Um, I've done that, it's, it, it tastes good, it's very nice. Um, I prefer the traditional barbecue sauce though, so um, that's what I'm gonna do, but you're welcome to reserve half of it. I would not you know, use, after it's marinated in this, I would discard that marinade. I would not keep using the marinade um, that you've already put on the raw chicken. Just, to not cross-contaminate stuff. So put this in the, in the fridge for uh, at least four hours, up to a day, and then we will see you in a few minutes to uh, do the grilling. The grill's preheated here. I'm gonna give it a quick little spray. And then carefully go ahead and put your marinated chicken. It's been, for me, it's been about eight hours or so of marination. You want to turn it down to medium and uh, go ahead and let that cook probably about seven minutes each side. We'll be back to kind of check it and flip it. It's been about six minutes. These are really big breasts. 
and they are they're okay. I'm gonna let them go for another couple of minutes here, just to let them. I'm right at 400 and uh, on medium heat, so a couple more minutes and we'll flip them over. All right, it's been about 18 minutes, and uh, I flipped it, and now we are at one. We're at about 155. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and apply some of this barbecue sauce. Everything is exploding today. I've just got a silicon brush that I'm gonna use to apply it. Be careful with this, that if your grill is really hot, you're gonna burn the sugar in it, and that's gonna create kind of a bitter taste, so you don't want that. Keep it, keep it kind of low toward the end of the cooking process. We're looking to get to 165, and we're at 171, so it's ready to come off. The barbecue chicken is done, and it looks phenomenal. Uh, it took, you know, about 20 minutes on the grill, and I have plated it here next to a beet salad, which is going to come out next week uh, for cooking under the collar. And I, I just want, before we kind of dig in and try this out, I, I, I know that these days are kind of weird, and they're long, and recently, um, you know, in the last number of months, they've been really hard. And that is kind of what the gospel tells us to expect. I mean, Jesus talks about taking up your cross and following him, not because his path is going to be easy, but because life is going to be hard. And things are going to get thrown at us at all different levels of our life, whether it's individual or collective. And the promise God makes to us in these moments of great challenge is that we don't go it alone that God goes with us, not always to necessarily comfort us. Sometimes God goes with us and God's presence with us, Jesus' eyes on us, um, maybe make us squirm a little bit. Maybe they kind of get us out of our comfort zone. Uh, but you are with God. You are journeying together as the church with Christ into something new. And where we see the end of old things God's favorite thing to do is resurrection, to bring about something new. So I pray that um, kind of as we enjoy this meal, uh, as we be together this night, um, that you would find that hopeful, that promise and new life to be something that gets you through even the dark moments. Let's say grace. Good and gracious God, even in the difficult moments of this life where we come face to face with our own brokenness. Help us to never lose sight of you, to maintain our hope in your promise. And we thank you now for this day, for this food, and for all the blessings of this life. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. All right. The marinade in the chicken is really what keeps it hopefully moist. Uh, the lacquer the barbecue lacquer on the outside um, is going to help with the, uh, the classic barbecue flavor. And um, let's just kind of dig in and see how it goes. <laughs> it's not your saccharine sweet barbecue chicken. It's not just all sugar. It's got this kind of complexity in the, in the meat that um, is where the soy sauce and the balsamic vinegar is, is, is meeting together with that rosemary. And you get notes of all of those. And then you kind of get the sweetness right away. And then there's kind of a lingering on the palate. I maybe would call this like grown-up barbecue chicken. Um, I think the kids would love it too. But for those of us who don't like dry chicken, this does a pretty, a pretty decent job of keeping it moist. So give it a go. Uh, let me know if you try it out. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Cooking Under the Collar. We'll see you Sunday on Livestream. Uh-oh, you're evaluating my work. I am. Are you subscribed? I will with a red button. And give us a thumbs up. I'm a fan. Of course.